before we get started with this video, I now sell merchandise. So if you're interested in buying a t-shirt or a mug, I have a link to my store in the description. I really appreciate anybody that purchases any one of my products. What's up guys? Let's do an update on the 2024 breeding season. Let y'all know what's going on. First, we're gonna start off right here. We have my Lemon Ghost Woma female. As you can see, she's not even yellow right now because she is deep in shed. Her eyes are starting to become blue. Um, she's not ovulating. She's still kind of skinny, even though she is eating pretty uh, regularly. Um, so I'm guessing this is a pre-ovulation shed, maybe. I've been putting her in with my Mai Tai. Um, they seem like they've been interested in each other. I've seen instances where he's been chasing her she's been wagging her tail and all that stuff but haven't noticed any visual locks uh, sometimes you can miss them so hopefully he locked her and um, maybe after this shed i'll put him back in there continue feeding her up and hopefully sometime in march uh, we can see an ovulation and then in april we can get some eggs so next up to clean this poop um this right here is my 100 head leucistic female i actually did see a lock with her so she was paired with the super arctic 66 percent head leucistic so i am definitely expecting some eggs from her probably in april she's doing really well eating every four days Right. Next up is a wild card. So this is my Exanthic Anaconda, 100% head albino. I initially got her to breed with my Mai Tai. Didn't really see any locks. She never really seemed like she was interested in him. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw my Super Arctic Super Conda Trooper in there and see, just to see what her behavior was. Um, I left them in there for probably like 20 minutes and I came back and they were locked. Um, the only issue with her is I have yet to get her to eat this year. So I doubt, even though she did lock with my male, I um, really doubt that she's going to lay any eggs because she's just been a really picky eater. But I do offer her a meal every four days. Um, I've tried different scenting techniques and then I leave it in there, but she hasn't eaten yet, so still be working on her as you can see i still got all this calcium powder all over the stuff next up we have my granite jungle who is looking huge and look how thick she is but she hasn't ovulated yet she's just thick she doesn't have any eggs yet and as you can see she's not as yellow and her eyes are a bit blue she is in shed as well so i don't know if this is another pre-ovulation shed i i have no idea um i've never dealt with this um in my three years of breeding hog no snakes usually they just um after brumation after the, their next shed is like the pre-lay shed so but she's been eating like crazy so i'm sure um uh, she'll lay me a bunch of eggs <clears throat> and then we have this girl right here. I don't think she's, she's the Arctic Anaconda head Mai Tai. I'm gonna give her another year. She's not ready. And we have this lavender girl right here. And I actually paired her to my Arctic Anaconda, 100% um, head Mai Tai, 50% head lavender, so. Didn't really have anybody to pair her with. So I was like, you know what? I might as well prove out that guy right there. So I put them in there. I didn't see any visual locks. She wasn't brumated. So I really don't know. And the last female who I'm actually going to upgrade, she's in shed as well. Um, this is my Sable, my Arctic Sable Anaconda, 100% head albino. Um, I've put her in with um, my albino anaconda 66% head sable. And um, they both seemed like they were interested in each other. One day they were chasing each other around the tub. I don't know if they locked. Um, so 
we'll see. And that's pretty much it for the breeding. Um, so what is that? One, two, three, four, five. So probably five or six females may lay eggs this year. Who knows? But yep, I will keep y'all posted. And I now have a Patreon account for those who want to support me even further. Here you will have access to exclusive videos, giveaways, as well as discounts. The link will be in the bottom in the description. And if you purchase Repi links, feel free to use the discount code SHOVELHOGS to receive 5% off of all purchases.